Roberto Mancini was once spotted watching Gareth Southgate manage an England game at Wembley, but the Football Association FA, insisted he was not the guest. Southgate will go head-to-head -head with the former Man City boss when England take on Italy in the Euro 2020 final on Sunday. Before the 50-year-old accepted the permanent position as Three Lions boss, Mancini was also in the running. The Italian was spotted at Wembley in 2016 watching England's 2-0 win over Malta in the World Cup qualifiers. He shared a video on his Twitter page before the game from what looked like prime seats. But the FA insisted he was not on the guest list for the Royal Box. Mancini spent three and a half years in the country as Man City boss between 2009 and 2013 and was linked with taking over the national side following Roy Hodgson's exit after Euro 2016. But in an interview on the subject with former West Ham striker Paolo Di Canio on Sky Sports at the time, he explained why it fell through. He said, it would have been a great experience, I could have been appointed but in the end nothing happened, negotiations collapsed also due to Brexit. There were several clubs interested but I know nothing about my future. I prefer to coach a foreign team because it's great to learn new lifestyles and mentalities. It would be nice to return to the Premier League as well, it is not clear exactly what Mancini was referring to, but Premier League clubs have been facing difficulties with new rules after the UK's break from the EU. Arsenal, Aston Villa, Brighton and Hove Albion, Burnley, Chelsea, Crystal Palace, Everton. Fulham, Leeds United, Leicester City, Liverpool, Manchester City, Manchester United, Newcastle United. Sheffield United, Southampton, Tottenham Hotspur, West Bromwich Albion, West Ham, Wolves. Roberto Mancini, FA insisted Italy boss not the guest after spotted watching Southgate. Roberto Mancini was once spotted watching Gareth Southgate manage an England game at Wembley, but the Football Association FA, insisted he was not the guest. By Callum Hoare, published, 12 o'clock, Saturday, July 10, 2021.0 Comment section Share on Facebook Share on Twitter Share on LinkedIn Share on Pinterest Copy link Euro 2020, Mancini delighted after Italy defeats Spain to reach final, sign up here for the latest MUFC breaking news and transfer updates. Enter your email address here. Subscribe, we use your sign up to provide content in ways you've consented to and to improve our understanding of you. This may include adverts from us and third parties based on our understanding. You can unsubscribe at any time. More info, Southgate will go head to head with the former Man City boss when England take on Italy in the Euro 2020 final on Sunday. Before the 50-year-old accepted the permanent position as Three Lions boss, Mancini was also in the running. The Italian was spotted at Wembley in 2016 watching England's 2-0 win over Malta in the World Cup qualifiers. It's coming home, buy England's official kit for the Euros, deal image, buy England's official kit for the Euros. Get ready for England to bring it home in this year's Euros by wearing England's official football kit. Asterisk this article contains affiliate links, we may receive a commission on any sales we generate from it. From £29.95 partner image, view deal by here, brought to you by, he shared a video on his Twitter page before the game from what looked like prime seats. But the FA insisted he was not on the guest list for the Royal Box. Mancini spent three and a half years in the country as Man City boss between 2009 and 2013 and was linked with taking over the national side following Roy Hodgson's exit after Euro 2016. But in an interview on the subject with former West Ham striker Paolo Di Canio on Sky Sports at the time, he explained why it fell through. Mancini was spotted watching Southgate at Wembley, Mancini was spotted watching Southgate at Wembley, image, Getty. Mancini will go head-to-head -head with Southgate, Mancini will go head-to-head -head with Southgate. 
He said, it would have been a great experience, I could have been appointed but in the end nothing happened, negotiations collapsed also due to Brexit. Vieira promises attacking philosophy at Palace, there were several clubs interested but I know nothing about my future. I prefer to coach a foreign team because it's great to learn new lifestyles and mentalities. It would be nice to return to the Premier League as well, it is not clear exactly what Mancini was referring to, but Premier League clubs have been facing difficulties with new rules after the UK's break from the EU. Read more, England legend David Beckham dragged Schmeichel into Brexit debate, why I voted Remain. Southgate has guided England to the finals of Euro 2020, Southgate has guided England to the finals of Euro 2020, image, Getty. The FA's new regulations are based on five bands that determine whether a manager qualifies for a governing body endorsement, GBE which is now required for them to work in England, the manager must have been working within these bands, described in the 12-page document as top leagues. For two consecutive years, or for three of the previous five, to receive the GBE. Under the post-Brexit immigration guidelines adopted by the FA and Home Office, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Marcelo Bielsa would have been denied permission to work in this country at the time they were appointed by Manchester United and Leeds respectively. Mancini instead went to Zenit St. Petersburg. But his contract was terminated by mutual consent just a year later. On May 14, 2018, it was announced that he had signed as manager of Italy after taking over from caretaker manager Luigi Di Biagio. Since then he has earned himself a new contract with the national side and been a part of their first European Championship final since 2012. Southgate was appointed as England manager in November 2016. Taking over the reins following Sam Allardyce's departure after only 67 days in charge. Before his appointment to the senior team, he had already worked with a number of the players in his role as England U21's head coach. With these players forming a key part of his setup, he led England to the World Cup semi finals in 2018 and has taken England within touching distance of their first major trophy since 1966.